All right, I'm gonna automate some stuff with Relay.app because it is that much better than the other automation experiences I have had. Thank you to Relay for sponsoring this video. I have so much energy. I just want to jump right into it. I just want to get. I just want to get in the, in the thing. You want to you ever just want to get in an app? Yeah, seriously. So I'm going to showcase to you how to set up an automation really quick. So first and foremost, let's talk about like the different things you can actually do with Notion. Uh, if I just go to add a new workflow, you'll see that we do have the ability to be triggered based off three different things. One is a new page is added, one being a page meets a condition, and one being a page field changed. So an example of this could be, you know, in the tasks database, if something is, for example, we have a checkbox property in my task database, yeah. If it is exactly yes, like for example, we checked it off, then adding a follow-up step could be something that's pretty useful. So you could see, for example, that there's a bunch of different entities right here where we could test this out and see that in the other steps inside of here, what we could do is I could, if we click on and type through Notion, add page to database, update a page, append to page, find different pages, and create different pages. So for my purposes, I would want to do two different things. I'd maybe want to send a Slack message, just send in a DM to me, for example, saying like, hey, Dimitri, we, uh, we did some." And I can move this above that. I don't want it to go here. But then after it finishes up, we can update that page. And I actually have this thing called automation sent where I really like just having a extra layer of, hey, the automation is sent. Let's not, if we do and automation sent is uh, false and automation sent is no. So after it finishes up, we can update the actual page. And I actually have this thing called automation sent where we can set this to yes to indicate that it's been updated. It's an extra layer to prevent the automation from possibly not working because I don't know how to filter properly without a specific property, I'll be honest. It just makes sure that it doesn't happen again. That's why I would set this automation sent to being no. Hey, this notion task and then you could either do plus data, which would just grab it from the page, or I can do like an at symbol. So I can do like at a subtask, or like at name I think would actually be pretty good. I just have to find it. All right, so like at name, so it's the page name of this. Maybe add a hyphen in between. And then is complete. It is from the content. Once again, you can do at, or you could press this other data option, go from the page, and then it's a, for example, content BAU, and then let's grab the name here, right? So it is from the content and then that name. This is from the relation property, right? That's crazy. Cause I, I, I just can't get over the fact how easy this relates and connects data without me having to do another search function or something. And let's do another test of this. So for example, the download content to Google Drive right here, and it will send it in my Slack channel saying, hey, this Notion task, download content to Google Drive is complete. It is from the content, Evernote is back, amazing updates. Perfect, so it sent it to the general channel so everyone can see it. Now this would be for something that would trigger every 15 minutes and that's pretty reasonable, I'd say. I think there's a lot of these different ones that could take less time. So this is 15 minutes, this is pretty reasonable. Now, sure, you can update just that item, but there's some really high level stuff you can do here where you can also update a page, right? So this object showcases the page itself, but here's a bunch of different content that's linked from it. So what if, for example, we want to go here, right, with this, so, and update the first result here. So let's just go to this, click on first result, and we wanna update the field for the status here and change it to editing. That's right, I'm able to update this content right here not only the task, but also the content related to it. That's right, and uh, it's gonna ask me to publish this when there's any changes made, so let's test this step. So for example, if I press test right here, it's gonna test that it works, and you'll notice here inside of the Notion Home is finally here page, bingo, the status is updated to editing. So what did we just do here? We just took a first initial task, it was checked off, that's simply it, it updated the task to have something on top of it. It updated the relation on top of it. Now, I'm just I'm just baffled by this because we're getting some major layers within here, right? We're, we're getting not only 
just this first relation, but if we want to, we can do, I mean, look how far I'm going here. We're going to three layers of relations here, where we could also check out any other parallel content, any content that's repurposed into, for example, the repurposed into item right there, this first result. This could be for like a long form video that then we wanna also update the fact that the status would be in editing too, right? So we can not only have the main piece of content, right? But we could also have the sub content that's connected to it in another relation. We see this with a lot of the content I have. If it has a repurpose from entity, that would mean that it's like a short form video usually. And imagine if you could update the status of the long form video as well as the short form video at the same time updating the status for both, keeping them kind of in sync. This is crazy. This is awesome stuff that you're able to do that. That took me so many less steps than it would with something like make.com. I mean, with make.com, I have to like do this whole hodgepodge of, I don't even, I don't even know what to say, like get a database item from somewhere else after the thing is run, then do an update module. Not to mention the load time that's associated with that platform is just baffling. But I'm able to just see all the content that's connected, all the content that's connected. Like, look, I'm just going through layer, 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 layer. And I can go to where it would make sense infinitely with this. And for example, if I wanted to, prior, what I can do is I can add a human in this loop step where I could say something along the lines of, hey, I want to get approval to continue the run. Maybe I want to send a DM to myself saying, hey, Dimitri, is the content for this repurposed item available to be edited? Just double checking. I put something like the uh, content name right here, All right? And then I could send myself a Slack DM to showcase to you exactly what that would be like. All right, hey, look, hey, Dimitri, is the content for this repurposed item available to be edited? Notion Home is finally here, perfect. Then if I press approve, then it would essentially allow that next step to happen here. Now, this human in the loop can not only just be for getting approval, but it also can be for things like getting data input, completing a task for it to then be done, or manually selecting a path between two different routes. This stuff is crazy to me. Like I am so grateful for this, it's not even funny. I have so many different automations that I'm gonna move from make.com to Relay because I was able to make this in half the time, probably a quarter of the time on the lag aspect alone. But because I use relations extensively and make.com works, Zapier doesn't. But make.com, this exact same thing would have taken me half an hour to set up, but this took me like five, 10 minutes. So I'm, I'm just more than grateful for this existing. Thank you so much to Relay for sponsoring this video. You have been an awesome addition to my workflow, so we're excited to show you more of the content here on my channel moving forward. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.